whole dynamic, it seems like that anyway, between the three of you. Where did you meet, and how, are there any secrets to um, how you keep that going? And, uh, and also, why do you have a phone box? <laughs> What was the talk of the last Why week? do you have a phone box? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, but those two, the, the two aren't connected. Um, <laughs> well, we all met at college. So, um, back, that would have been back in 1991. Uh, first night at the bar. First night at the bar. We sort of gravitated towards each other. We actually did some little funny entrepreneurial things at college together. So, I don't know, I used to organise club nights, and John was the only guy that had a computer. And he was designed all <laughs> the time, the time all our posters and things. And, and um, then, you know, from that, we just started saying, wouldn't it, be, wouldn't it be great to go into business together? And we didn't do it first year we graduated, we came down to our different jobs, we were sharing houses together, going on holiday together. And it was, you know, we were away for a snowball weekend at the time, and we said, look, let's either stop talking about what except for business or get on with it. And I was going to throw myself nuts. A lot of people say, you know, isn't it an issue being, you know, as being close friends? Because actually, we're closer friends now than we ever have been. I am to those, I don't know what I think to be. <laughs> <laughs> I actually got, I don't know how you do if you don't know people as your friends, because it means there's such a, we can say anything to each other, we can be completely painfully honest with each other, we know which each other are good at, which are bad at, we can trust each other implicitly. Um, for us it's been awesome and it makes it great fun and I think it helps set the tone for the company. You've just got to make sure you're not conceding, you can't concede the business to the friendship because you, we've got responsibility to the people that work for innocent, the people that support innocent. And we don't want to continue the friendship with the business. So we, at, at work, we're at work. And at work, uh, sorry, at work, we're at work. And when we go out, we go out as friends. And we do have this slightly bizarre life that we'll be here till 6 o'clock on a Friday and then leave and go, right, see you later. And then suddenly you feel me in the pub. It's a dream to go out tonight with our respective partners and friends and stuff. But um, I don't know. Pretty weird, I guess. But, <laughs> it's, it's also, I think we've also been lucky that there have been three of us. You know, a lot of people go into businesses two people together as friends, often with the, often with the same skills, and, you know, because there have been times when we've argued about stuff, uh, I hope, bizarrely, it has always been around the absolute trivial, so when we got our first little office, which was, you know, a tiny uh, size of one of these meeting rooms, it was, what colour should we paint it? And it just, this thing went for about an hour and a half, this one, it should be blue or green, um, and the great thing about three is that you've got someone in the middle who's going, this doesn't matter. <laughs> or it's saying blue and there's a majority. <laughs> so, 